Hey there and welcome to this week's three minute scripture. So it's all about your dream, the details in your dream this week. So details, smeetails, are they really that important when it comes to your dream? Well in Mark chapter 10, blind Bartimaeus realised that the details for him to receive sight were really important um, and it says in verse 46 to 52 it says now they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho this is Jesus with his disciples and a great multitude blind Bartimaeus the son of Tinnemus sat by the roadside begging and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth he began to cry out and say Jesus son of David have mercy on me and then many warned him to be quiet but he cried out all the more Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, that I may receive sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received sight and followed Jesus on the road. Now, what can we learn from this passage about our dreams? Well, first of all, do you feel like blind Bartimaeus where you've been sitting at the side of the road, fumbling and fudging around, looking for vision for your dream? And you're crying out to Jesus, you're crying out to him. And finally he comes to you and he looks at you and he says, what do you want me to do for you? And you're like, well, isn't it obvious, Jesus? I need, I need vision and sight for my dream. But the key is blind Bartimaeus threw his beggar's cloak off first before he received the miracle. And I think we need to get rid of this beggar's mindset um, and we need to write down exactly what the details of our dream are. And then when Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? He will, you can present it to him in your prayers and say, this is what you promised. Open doors, make a way where there is no way. Um, just let me have vision and let me see my dream start coming true. So we can learn a lot from blind Bartimaeus. So what do you want Jesus to do for you? And it's a fair question when we're fulfilling our destiny. And in the natural, you do want to see. You want the path to be laid right out for you. Um, but that's not how it always happens. So I encourage you, write down your dream, present it to God and say, Jesus, yeah, I need your help. I need to see the dream fulfilled. So there's my encouragement this week for you. Mark chapter 10, read it. It's a great passage. Oh, 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 oh,